Soldiers of the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces have intercepted with the use of Shark drones the houses of the command post of the invading Russian army and the houses where Russian soldiers gathered in one of the occupied settlements of Zaporozhye region. Later, the soldiers passed the information to the artillerymen and aviation forces. The command post and the deployment location of the Russian servicemen were destroyed by firing of cassette missiles through the HIMAR system, as well as by an airstrike. As a result, a large number of soldiers were killed in the area. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told the Summit for the Future at the United Nations Monday that his country supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the secondary summit moving forward with our partners, Zelensky said. We are working on food security, energy security, and holding Russia accountable for its terror. The Pact for the Future, approved by the General Assembly on Sunday, aims to meet the challenges of the 21st century and unite the world's divided nations to move quickly to implement the agreement's 56 actions. Russia proposed an amendment that would have significantly watered down the agreement. Only six countries supported Russia Iran, Belarus, North Korea, Nicaragua, Sudan and Syria. Fifteen countries abstained. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future. Zelensky said. It's important that the world is working to develop a shared vision for the best future for humanity. As soon as such collective efforts begin, true interests are always revealed. Ukraine supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. This time during the work on the Pact for the Future, the same small group of seven accomplices led by Russia has once again acted destructively, always opposing any global initiatives that strengthen the effectiveness of the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the second summit moving forward with our partners step by step according to the peace formula and we are working on food security energy security and holding russia accountable for its terror we will address all other points of the peace formula including the release of prisoners the restoration of territorial integrity and more and we are preparing a document to present at the second peace summit. I invite all leaders nations to continue supporting our joint efforts for a just and peaceful future. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future, I'm sure. <laughs> Russian TV presenter Vladimir Solovyov made an unexpected statement on the Russia 1 channel. The Russian press reported on this. Solovyov called for concrete decisions and even for the resignation of the commander-in-chief, it is not enough to arrest the guilty. We need to appoint those who understand how to do this effectively, quickly and clearly. It does not matter what ministry these people are in and how they are called. It doesn't matter to me what color the cat is, the main thing is that it catches mice. Therefore, let's move on to concrete solutions. 
If this requires the resignation of the supreme leader, well. It should be noted that during Solovyov's speech, the guests in the studio shouted, oh oh, shouts are heard. Recall, Vladimir Solovyov has come to be the embodiment of Russian propaganda. He is on air for hours and hours every single day, on TV, on the radio, and on YouTube, justifying Russia's aggression against Ukraine, praising Vladimir Putin's actions, threatening the West with a nuclear Armageddon, and calling for the dissidents to be jailed. Today he is by far the most active and hard-working personality of the Russian state propaganda landscape. And, according to a survey conducted four years ago by independent pollster Levada Center, he is also the most trusted anchor in Russia. Но давайте все-таки брать все лучшее, что у нас было в опыте великих эпох, и решать теми методами, которые необходимы для того, чтобы здесь сейчас.